Hey everyone, welcome back to Press On Mobile Coffee. On today's episode, we are prepping our vintage travel trailer for adding epoxy primer. So I got a quote for painting our travel trailer through an RV place that's pretty expensive. It would have been around $6,000 to do so. Um, but the guy gave me a lot of information for free and he said it'll answer any questions that I might have, which was cool. He mentioned using a self-etching primer. I did a little bit more research on that before deciding to buy the self-etching primer. And turns out if you have a uh, finished surface, you do not need to use a self-etching primer. Self-etching primer is gonna be if you're down to bare metal. So what I found then is to use a epoxy primer. And then after this goes on, then you can add your paint. Um, cool thing about this primer too is after, uh, let's see, I think it's 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes of uh, doing the epoxy primer, you can actually begin painting too. So I have a spray gun I just picked up, nothing special, fairly cheap, but an HVLP gun, which is high volume, low pressure. That's what I'm gonna be using for the epoxy primer as well as my paint. Prepping the trailer for the primer, Again, you don't need to take it down just to bare metal. Um, you're gonna uh, prep it though to with uh, 320 to 400, somewhere around there for uh, finished sandpaper, just to kind of take off any imperfections, give it a little more grit for this to adhere to. So that's what we're gonna do today, so stay tuned. Even with the orbital sander, it took about six to seven hours to sand the whole trailer. For the top, I just went to about as far as I could reach, and then the rest is actually gonna be coated with a RV metal roof coating. But I was hoping to get this done a little sooner today so I could prime it today as well, but um, I'll just have to hold off and prime tomorrow so that way I can paint tomorrow as well. One more thing to keep in mind when using this epoxy primer, if you're gonna wait more than 24 hours before putting on your top coat, your paint, uh, it does say to uh, lightly scuff um, or sand uh, the primer before putting on your paint. So keep that in mind uh, just to eliminate one extra step. Uh, if you have time in the day, just to knock out the primer and then go right into your top coat. I am not a professional. I have never painted a trailer before. Um, have very little experience using a paint gun actually. So um, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do and hopefully it turns out well. <laughs> 